Hey guys, it's Amanda Rijeko. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing Bohemian braids with the leave out. I am using Avis Long braids in the shade number one, as well as Expression Curly Braid also in the shade number one. So I'm first going to shampoo and condition the braids and then I'm going to go ahead and shampoo and condition my own hair and I'm going to wrap it in yarn in a straight up position like so. This helps to straighten my hair and get it ready for any hairstyle. So the technique that I'm using for installing my braids is the crochet technique. So I first need to braid my hair on its own throughout my head and then I'm going to start the whole process of crocheting. So when I section and braid my hair, it's very important for me to use my gel and my favorite gel is the NYX Sheen and this gel has got both argan oil and olive oil so not only does it keep your roots in check and make sure that you part and get really beautiful and straight lines but it also just brings a little bit of moisture to your hair and to your scalp which I really really love. I've just braided about half my head and I'm ready to start installing my extensions which I must say smell really really nice and just to make mention I did use my Avon Care for hair replenishing moisture with avocado. My curly braid that I needed to use for the leave outs was not very easy to work with so pretty often I'll just put a little bit of the mousse before I sectioned it out. So now we're getting into installation and this is the exciting part so let's get into method number one. For this method section out three equal pieces of your straight braid. Put those on the side and then start with your hooking process. So to hook you need to go underneath the braid of your real hair and then when you have gone through with the crochet just grab your braid and pull it through so if you noticed I actually pulled through a little bit of hair from my next braid so I had to fix that up and after I fixed it up then I went on to install my second braid now I'm showing you something that I really struggled with doing this hairstyle which is getting all the braids underneath the hook and pulling it through while I had everything that was in my hand so I struggled with this a lot so you'll notice here that I thought I had hooked all the hair in and I pulled it through but clearly I hadn't and then I had to go ahead and fix it before I started the braiding so finally I had all three braids in sorry I did not show you the other braid I showed you only the first and the last but don't worry I'll show you the proper installation when I do the next braid so now you will see that I took my curly braid and I installed it so I didn't have a clip so I just tied it on to where my other hair was and then I continued braiding so now things were getting fun and exciting and I really liked how the root part looked and how the braiding hair and my own hair blended and I just had this idea of actually doing two leave outs so if you'll notice I did the first one at the top and then I did the second one at the bottom and you guys are going to see what it looks like just now but I really loved it make sure you braid properly all the way to the end of your braid the tail of the braid is so annoying to do but you just have to because that's how you get a beautiful and neat hairstyle so there you go guys that's method number one and that's the result now we move on to method number two so still I was struggling with pulling through my hair using the crochet I mean look at that but anyway I kept on trying and I kept giving it my best so there now I actually did it the correct way the second method is essentially the same as the first method so take three equal pieces of your straight hair and crochet underneath your braided hair your own hair The 
only difference is that before I start actually braiding down, I am going to hook through my curly braid and I am going to do the leave out from the root. So I'm not braiding and then leaving it out. I'm actually doing a leave out before I start braiding and then I'm gonna do a second leave out. Now I did not show it on this braid, but I'll definitely show it on the next braid. So there's the result of doing the leave out right at the root before you start braiding and I actually thought that this looked more beautiful than braiding a little bit and then doing the leave out. So now you can see that I have pulled through all my extensions for my third braid and like I said earlier I did not have a clip so I have taken out my curly braid and just tied it to my other hair that's in an updo for this hairstyle. So now I'm going to start the braiding process and I'm basically doing the exact same thing that I did with the second braid that I did. It's just that when I did the second braid, I didn't show you how I did the leave out to begin with. So for this braid I did two leave outs, one at the root of the braid and one in the middle of the braid. For method number three you don't need the straight braids, you can just use the curly braids. So for this you take three equal sections of the curly braid, hook them underneath your own hair using your crochet hook. And you can do your leave out at the root, you can braid a little bit and do your leave out, you can do two leave outs just like what I'm doing right now, it's all up to you. I do have to be honest, using just the curly braid without the straight braid was not very comfortable because this is wavy hair so getting it to really look nice and straight is not as easy as when you're using the straight braids so I would definitely recommend using both straight braids and curly braids for this hairstyle. Now we move on to method number four and this was the hardest method and I don't think I even left the hair like that. I think I undid it and then did installation that I was used to. So this is like going back to basics. So you're going to hook your curly braid underneath your hair and then you're going to take um, your straight braid and then do one piece that's two times thicker than the other piece and then you're going to um, just hook them together and start braiding like we used to back in the day so honestly you guys i struggle with this method of braiding which is why i opted for um, using a crochet hook so i definitely struggled with this and i can't really remember but i think i undid this um, the braid and I hooked it and then that's how I ended up doing that particular braid but anyway I've showed you all four methods and I honestly used method number two the most I did use method number one as well but method number two became my favorite method and this is what my hair ended up looking like after I had installed all the braids
to finish off the hairstyle we definitely need some mousse so I went big with my mousse and I just put it all over my scalp and I also spread it throughout the braids all the way from the beginning of the braids till the end of the braids and the mousse really helps to manage this hairstyle not only on that particular day that I did my braids but also throughout the duration of the hairstyle right now I'm inserting clips of some of the hairdos that I did when I had this hairstyle I must say guys I really enjoyed this hairstyle ever since I saw it ever since it started trending I knew that I had to get this hairstyle and I really really enjoyed it and some of the hairdos that I did with it and I am considering doing this hairstyle again and yeah it was just really beautiful I really enjoyed the three to four weeks that I had it on that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching i hope that you not only enjoyed watching this video but you will learn a thing or two from the tutorial and also from the mistakes that i made thank you once again for watching this video i will see you guys in my next upload and until then cheers